Sometimes when you want to install a new app on your Mac computer, there will be a warning that comes up that says, hey, this app hasn't been verified uh, or doesn't have a verified developer, and it prevents you from actually installing the application. So this tutorial shows you how to work around that. So first and foremost, you download your app, and this is a free app called Anxiety. It's a to-do application. So you just click download, and it'll download that application. I've already done that, so I can click on my Downloads folder down here, click on the Anxiety Zip, and it'll show me the DMG file. And a DMG file is just the, uh, the file type uh, for application installer. So I'll double click on that, and it's going to open up that file, and you'll see now that I've got the Anxiety app. With Mac, all you have to do is drag and drop to your Applications folder. When you open it up, as soon as I do that, you get this warning. Anxiety can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. So this is meant to protect you. This is meant to keep you from accidentally installing um, applications that have viruses or other type of malware. So we'll click OK. Our next move, since we do want to install this application, is to go down to System Preferences open up System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, and when we open that up, you're going to see right here, Anxiety was blocked from opening because it, did not, it is not from an identified developer. So I can click the Open Anyway box and it's going to allow that application to open. Before I do that though, I want to point out that you have your preferences right here that you can change. So you can instruct your Mac to allow apps downloaded from the Mac App Store to open, the Mac App Store and identified developers, or from anywhere. So anywhere removes all type of security, so you really want to make sure that you know what you're downloading and installing before you do that. I have mine set at Mac App Store and Unidentified Developers because I have a pretty good handle on where software is coming from. If you don't and you only want it to be Mac App Store, um, you can click the box here, type in your username and password and change the preferences and save them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Open Anyway and that's going to allow me to override my settings. Unfortunately, there's an error, and I did everything right. You click Open Anyways, and it's still giving me this notification. So what we're going to do is we are going to click on this little box. We're going to type in our username and our computer password, and we're going to say Anywhere. And it'll say Choosing Anywhere makes your Mac less secure. You say Allow from Anywhere. Now we'll go back in. We'll double click on Anxiety. We'll click Open. We'll click OK, OK, Yes and now the Anxiety app is on my computer, right here. And I can select which to-do list I want it to display. Now that I've got it open and now that I've installed the application, I can go back into the security and privacy settings. I can go back to Mac app and I can lock it so that the next time I want to install something, it has to be identified developers. So typically that open anyway works. For some reason it wasn't here, and that just gave us an opportunity to show how to circumvent the security altogether. Hope this was helpful and got you what you needed. Please use the comment section below if you have any questions. Thanks.